everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a half enough lipstick comparison video. I love doing those and I know you love watching them too because you can really see how they wear throughout the day. So today's video is going to be the Sephora Lustre Matte Longwear Lip Color against the NYX Extreme Lip Cream. I decided to choose these two because I feel like they have somewhat a similar formula because I don't want to compare a really matte lipstick to something that is like really moisturizing and sheer because it's really not fair to compare them that way. So I think these have pretty much a similar formula. I try to choose similar colors too so it doesn't look too crazy either. So I got the color uh, Petal Luster in the Sephora one and I have the, the color Candyland. So I'm going to compare half and half. Okay, so on my right side, I'm going to apply the Sephora one. These have a scent to it. It's not a uh, pleasant like cake scent or anything, but it's not really overpowering that you really can't use it. And plus when it's dry, it doesn't smell like anything. Actually, it doesn't dry that quickly. You will see. Now the next one in Candyland. See, I never noticed, I've tried these before, but I never noticed how the spoolie is so hard compared to the Sephora one because it's like, you know, it moves, it glides. This one is a little like, this one is more like solid, you know, it doesn't move. It never bothered me until today. <laughs> By the way, I don't really like the scent of these. They don't smell like uh, their uh, NYX Butter Glosses and stuff like that. They feel like it tries to smell sugary, but it really doesn't. Okay, so now they're both applied. I have to say this one has a scent and a taste to it that I've never really noticed until actually comparing it. You kind of get used to it and stuff like that, but when you compare it directly the same day, same lips, it's just really weird. Plus the uh, spoolies are really different. The Sephora one, I never realized how much better it was because as you can see, it is a little bit longer and kind of it kind of bends, which you would think it's not really good because you know it could be messy, but it actually feels more comfortable than something like this. But obviously, let's keep in mind that this is like four times cheaper or something, like three times cheaper than the Sephora one. So obviously you would expect the Sephora one to be better. I couldn't find the real amount of product that comes in there because it's not written on the uh, NYX website and on Ulta.com it says that it's like 0.23 ounces but the Sephora one says that it contains like 0.14 uh, ounce which from what I can see and feel the Sephora one has like at least double the amount of product. So when you think about that is there that much of a difference in price? The Sephora brand is actually really well uh, priced, like it's not overly expensive and a lot of products are actually really, really good, especially their lip products. I won't be doing the usual uh, kiss my hand test, at least not right now, because I know it would just be a sticky mess on my hand right now. It's kind of obvious they would both transfer a lot. <laughs> but as you can see, both formula are extremely creamy, they're both shiny, which is a little weird with the uh, Sephora one because they do call it luster matte, but they are not matte finishes, at least not straight away. Throughout the day, as you will see, they kind of tone down to a, almost like a lipstick finish, to be honest, like a satin finish. It's not fully matte, but it's not drying. So if you can't wear lip creams that are like uh, the soft matte lip creams or the Sephora uh, cream lip stains, which are amazing, if you find, basically, if you find liquid lipstick too drying, you will love this formula. Anyway, I will update you throughout the day after I eat and drink. I know it will transfer like I said, but you will see the color will stay on my lips. I wanted to quickly update you before I go and eat and you know, just in case it gets all messy. It's been almost three hours, like two and a half hours. And as you can see, the uh, Sephora side kind of, you know, toned down a bit. It's not as uh, glossy because it's starting to be a little bit more matte, which it's not ever gonna be matte. And as you can see, the NYX one is still really glossy. It's still pigmented. None of them has faded. The only thing is the NYX side is a little bit more sticky. I can like feel it. Plus my hair tends to go in there. That's why my hair is like, I'm wearing a headband because I know this is, this can get messy because I had things to do and so yeah, NYX side, you have to be careful. I would tend to avoid it, especially if it's really windy outside because they're so pigmented that your hair is stuck in there and then on your face and so quickly wanted to update you after eating. As you can see, they both look exactly the same. The Sephora one is a little bit more matte again, but 
So after a meal, you would still be able to go on with your day. I have to say, when I drink water in a glass, you could see a lot more transfer on this side. There's transfer on this side too. But the more I drink, the less there's transfer on this side. So after four hours, they both look fine after eating too. So it's been almost eight hours now. So I had a second meal. And as you can see, they both faded a little bit, especially in the inside. There's still a fair amount of color on my lips, but you would need to reapply because the inside did fade. As you can see, there's still a lot of shine on the uh, NYX side, not so much on the uh, Sephora side. It's still not matte, so that's why I wanted to really do that video so you can see that they never really toned down to a matte finish. They're more like a satin finish. They both last really, really well throughout the day, so you won't have to worry that if you forget to reply, there's nothing left on your lips. They will stay all day long. You might need to reply after a second meal, obviously. I don't think any lipstick really lasts longer than that. <laughs> they still both transfer. If I kiss my hand right now, you will see. So as you can see, they both still transfer. That won't stop all day long because they don't set. It's kind of pretty. <laughs> so they're both great options. I just wanted to say that the NYX one is starting to emphasize any uh, dry patches or like the colors tend to the colors tend to just stick to dry patches right now. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see, but it's starting to emphasize here. But the uh, Sephora side doesn't have that issue, so it's a little bit more moisturizing. So it's up to you if you think it's worth the price. Personally, I do like the formula and I will get some more shades because it's really good. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if there's any other lipstick you want me to do a half and half video review on. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.